Mmm, I do love the smell of basil, or perhaps I should say basil. Today we are making something perfect for a summer's day in your garden. So let's, let's start, start the, the show! show. When I first moved over, I used to make this quick and easy snack for Marcus, and it involves mozzarella, tomatoes, basil, and a French stick. And olive oil as well, Paul. Don't forget the olive oil. Right, okay, so let's get going with this. Why don't we cut the tomatoes with this really sharp knife? The world's sharpest knife, actually. Says. Yes, this cuts through everything. Give your finger, so be careful. These are vine tomatoes. Ripened on the vine. Yes. They are really red, I have to say. It's better than those ones that are kind of... Um, Look at the even... heart shape. Look at that. You want them nice and juicy. Nice and sweet, right? Yes, you do. Do we need another one? I think that's that's enough because I only got one mozzarella ball. It's a small one. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought that two might have been too much because this is really just for like a bit of a snack. It's not meant to be like a full sort of meal or anything, but you could have it for lunch and we have had it for lunch in the past. So a mozzarella always has all this um, liquid in. So we're not using that. We're just using um, this mozzarella. I think I could cut another one actually. So how big should the pieces of mozzarella be? As big as you like. Yeah, I, I normally cut it in, in half. You and see, then... I don't think you need that much really because once you cut it, there is quite a lot. And then, yeah, so it depends really how much you want do we put the the greens first no no the green goes on top it depends on you actually yeah it Whatever depends you whether want. you're from uh, devon or cornwall <laughs> oh i see something crawling oh we don't want creepy crawlies let's make haste while the sun shines out going in behind a cloud again and that is the trouble with summer of course you can never be too sure of the weather and now let's pick off i i think it goes under actually oh it goes know. under does it otherwise it just hold it off. in place oh right remember oh, well something oh. tells me it should go on top i'm sure it goes on top okay fine well you could do a mixture Maybe if you're outdoors, it should be And underneath. this is kind of like the Italian flag. Oh, yes, yeah, so it is. Because I feel like it's going to fly. No? Well, if it doesn't fly, a fly will land on it. So what comes next? The bread. The bread. And then the oil's last, is it? Yes. So we have got a baguette. Is that right? Yeah. Or a French stick, as I would call it. Baton. <laughs> a baton, yes. Why don't we cut off the end bit? Because it's yeah. kind of it's kind of rough, isn't it? Yeah. So why don't we do it on the slide, like yeah. on the angle? I mean. Yeah. It's always fancier that way, right? Mm. And of course, with a. French stick or any type of French bread it really does need to be fresh so you buy it on the day that you're going to eat it and it's very popular in France well it is French <laughs> after all we didn't go all the way to France to get this one though <laughs> wouldn't it have been weird if we did okay and that is really just to have it on the side right yeah um so why don't i jeez what is this 
So. Is this olive oil? Yeah. So I put my hand, like my finger in. Oh, right. To and prevent, then drizzle. Yeah. So this is tasting time now. And there we have it. And you would call this your tomato, mozzarella, basil, oil, extravaganza. <laughs> All right, so I am going to choose a really big one. And I am going to pair it with this beer. It's from Portugal. It should really be French, I suppose, but it is Superbog. Or Italian, I suppose, for that matter, because of the color of the flag. Paul's not having a drink today. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Maybe I'm not if I can't get the top off. So I am going to stick this in my mouth. Cheers, everyone. I'm going to stick this in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Now, I don't think I am going to have it with the bread in one go because mm. that is going to be a bit messy. I don't have it in one go either. And also, with my teeth, I have to be very careful. But I do want Don't to have... Normally huh? cut, it off. cut the bread? No. Like the oh, well, this, this is okay. Oh, I've got the end bit. Let's try this. Mmm! 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 That is delicious! This is a good starter. Mmm! You could have it in the garden or indoors if it's raining. And I guess... It doesn't have to just be in summer. You can have this at any time. Uh-huh. Well, you can buy, you can buy basil and just basil leaves in a little pack. Or a part of Oh, hello. Pack. I thought there was someone there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just hallucinating again. Um, but I love these plants. Look at this. And the smell of it as well. It is just so fresh. Don't you mean fragrant? Fragrant, yeah. And fresh. No, I want to have a bit of the bread. I already well. had one. Mmm. But the bread smells nice too. Mmm. Let me squeeze another one in. Mmm. Do you want more bits of bread? Well, I have to dip the bread in the bits of oil, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm, this is good to serve at um, like parties, I suppose, too. And also, you could dip bread in balsamic vinegar and also some olive oil. Mm. Do you remember we've had that many times before? I don't like the balsamic vinegar, though. You've had it, though. Yeah, I know. Actually, we've got some. We've got one of those little tiny bottles that we stole from a restaurant. So I They're not still. No, that we I bought it. I think we need to... Um, have it at our next soiree. Mmm. Right? Oh, indeed. Because if you don't have it, you'll be sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, have another one of these. Mmm. Mmm. So, wasn't this quick and easy to assemble? It certainly was. Um, it goes really nice with the beer as well. Mm. <laughs> huh? What have you done? You haven't spilled oil over it, have you? Well, we do hope that you have enjoyed this little session today. I'm on a session now. And, and for... if you did, maybe you'd like to subscribe, right? And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. For those of you that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, we read your comments as well. And especially if, if you want to buy us a coffee while we're out and about, mm. the details are in the description below. Mm. They certainly are. <laughs> now we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ciao. Mm. Oh boy, that bit nearly went down the wrong way. <laughs> there is no such thing as the wrong way. Ah.
Mmm, I do love the smell of basil, or perhaps I should say basil. Today we are making something perfect for a summer's day in your garden. So let's, let's start, start the, the show! show. Mm. 